Are you not quite sure if your PC and graphics card are VR ready? Well today we'll look at VR Mark, an app that just might answer that question. So you have a PC and you're thinking about buying an HTC Vive or Oculus Rift virtual reality headset? The first question you need to ask yourself is, will my PC and graphics card handle VR content? You'll need to know if your PC is VR ready because performance requirements for VR games and apps can be much higher than 2D desktop apps. Well, wonder no more because FutureMark, a company well known and respected for graphics benchmarking software like 3DMark, has released its full version of their virtual reality benchmarking app, VRMark. FutureMark provided us with VRMark for this evaluation. VRMark runs on Windows and is available in two flavors. VRMark Basic Edition, which you can download from FutureMark's website or on the Steam Store, is free but has limited functionality, as you would guess. VRMark Advanced Edition, the version we'll be checking out today, is priced at $19.95 and is available in the same places. There's also a commercial version available at quoted prices, but we'll stick with the home version for this review. The software is designed to be used by anyone from PC noobs to experts. Here's a summary of the advanced version features. Determine if your PC meets requirements for HTC Vive and Oculus Rift. Test your PC with two VR benchmarks without the need for a VR headset. Provide you with detailed results and hardware monitoring charts. Allow you to explore each benchmark seen in VR or watch it on your desktop monitor. VRMark uses a custom graphics engine developed by FutureMark to ensure there is no bias towards any particular vendor. This also ensures that the results are not skewed by vendor-specific optimizations sometimes found in game engines. VRMark also supports multi-GPU rendering using VRSLI and Affinity Multi-GPU. To help get the most out of VRMark, it includes a 39-page technical guide with all the detail you need, whatever your experience level. Let's dive into how VRMark works. VRMark gives you two benchmarks, or rooms, you can use to test your PC VR readiness. The orange room shows a level of detail that can be generated on a PC that meets Vive and Rift recommended requirements. There are multiple 3D objects in various scenes designed to put your CPU and GPU to the test. If your PC passes the orange room test, it's ready to support those headsets. The Blue Room is a much more demanding VR environment that has a greater level of detail at 5K rendering and is designed for very high-end PC and GPUs. When it comes to using this app, VRMark gives you two modes. Benchmark mode, which shows a 2D image on your desktop monitor while running the benchmark testing and then provides detailed chart and results. This is the ideal mode for those who want to know if their PC will support Rift or Vive. And then there's experience mode where you can put on your Vive or Rift headset and actually experience the VR Mark generated scene. Experience mode is compatible with HTC Vive, Oculus Rift, and OSVR headsets. Let's run my PC through the orange room test first. My VR system is set up like this, Oculus Rift CV1, and a PC configured with an Intel i6700 CPU, 16 gigs of RAM, and an EVGA GTX 1070 Superclocks graphics card. I've added MSI Afterburner stats on the upper left so you can see how the PC is performing in real time. Keep in mind that I'm capturing this with Shadowplay which is stealing some CPU and GPU cycles. I've yet to experience any issues with any VR game or apps when using my Oculus Rift, so I'm not worried about failing the orange room test. Alright, well let's take a look at the results. We scored an average frame rate of 193.53 frames per second for an overall rating of 88.78 according to VMark which they term as super. And if I click show detail, I can get into detail information about GPU and CPU metrics. I'm happy to confirm that my PC system can handle VR. When your testing is complete, VRMark also allows you to compare your results online with test results from other PCs. Now let's test the PC with the Blue Room. Now keep in mind that this room is designed for multi-GPU configurations and future PC setups. You know, like those $5,000 PCs with multiple top-end graphics cards that you see built on YouTube. If you're lucky enough to have one of those, then you should be good to go in the Blue Room. 
but in my case, my graphics card just doesn't have the horsepower. I'm not expecting great results, but let's see how we did. Well, at an average of 38 frames per second, I just don't think my system's gonna cut it when rendering VR at 5K. Not to worry though, my PC passed the orange room test with flying colors, and that's all I need to know. As I mentioned, VRMark Advanced offers experience mode where you can see each room in VR. We'll check out some of the orange room experience in VR because the blue room's graphic detail may fry my GPU, stomach, and brain. The images in experience mode are pretty stunning as you would expect in a higher end VR application or game. There are a variety of images so you can see what VR Mark is rendering when it's doing the testing. Including images hovering above you so you can get a good sense of depth of field as well as detail. So what do I think of VR Mark Advanced? Whether you're a novice or an expert, VR Mark makes it easy to determine if your PC is VR ready. Experience mode is a nice touch, but benchmark mode is where VRMark really shines. If you have a question about adding VR to your current PC, or have concerns about the performance of your current VR PC, VRMark with its benchmark testing feature is a great choice. VRMark makes it simple to use a consistent testing method to gain non-biased, detailed PC VR performance results. In a nutshell, that makes it well worth the $20 price tag. We want to know what you think about VR Mark and VR testing in general. Let us know in the comments what you think. Thanks for watching. Please hit the like button and join the discussion in the comments below. Check out our other VR videos and join the community by subscribing to VR Vibe for more virtual reality exploration.